This video describes warfighter ontology, methods used in military planning to create situational awareness in a common operational picture by Lt. Col. Bill Mandrick. After some introductory remarks pertaining to the history of warfighter ontologies, I will go on to define ontology and then apply that definition to the military domain. I will then go on to describe the importance of military ontologies and the return on investment gained through disciplined ontological methods. I will also describe the common lexicon shared by military leaders and planners at the tactical, operational, and strategic levels of war. This common lexicon is the foundation for creating a common operational picture. A common operational picture is a product of military ontology. I will then describe the process used by commanders and war planners in creating military ontologies. In the book On War, Clausewitz states that, I shall proceed from the simple to the complex. In war, more than in any other subject, we must begin by looking at the nature of the whole. For here, more than elsewhere, the part in the whole must always be thought of together. Clausewitz stressed the importance of military leaders being able to grasp the fundamentals of any situation in the blink of an eye. This requires that the military leader maintain an updated ontology to include relations between organizations, geospatial entities, and events that make up an area of operations. In what follows, I will explain what this means and how muriology, the theory of parthood relations, plays a critical role in planning for military operations. For a more thorough discussion on muriology, go to the link listed here. So what is ontology anyway? Ontology is both a method and a product of that method. Ontology is the science of what is, of the kinds and structures of objects, properties, events, processes, and relations in every area of reality. It is advanced by the cultivation of a discipline that is devoted precisely to the representation of entities as they exist in reality. It is a definitive and exhaustive classification of entities in all spheres of being. And ontology is the formulation of robust and shareable descriptions of a given domain. It results in a common controlled vocabulary for scientists, theorists, doctrine writers, and IT developers alike. And ontology should be a shared resource for disparate communities to communicate with each other. And ontology is a tool for the continued collaborative development supporting the integration of information and facilitating knowledge discovery. The practice of military ontology applies to any related subdomain such as operation planning, operations, logistics, and intelligence. Each of the doctrinal publications shown here are written expressions of a domain ontology. They contain descriptions and definitions for entities and events for a given military domain. Furthermore, they provide a mirological description of the parts and holes that make up a military domain. A good ontological methods will yield a high return on investment. A well-thought military ontology will accur accurately represent some military-related domain. It will identify and define the entities and events in that domain, and identify and define the relations between entities and events. It will thereby enhance the ability to reason over some military domain and facilitate the development of tactics, techniques, and procedures. A military ontology will also accelerate the design of information sharing systems. They are used to perform operational design and to plan and task organize. All of this results in increased efficiencies. The ontological methods used by war planners result in the formulation of situational awareness, situational understanding, and the common operational picture. All of these things are required for sound planning and decision making. Intelligence, fire support, 
targeting, maneuver and blue force tracking, logistics, civil military operations, and air operations are some of the different disciplines within an operation center that are semantically interoperable because they share a common lexicon. The common lexicon is used to describe the entities and events within an area of operations. This common lexicon Lexicon facilitates the creation of the common operational picture as well as domain representations such as map overlays and enemy situation templates. All of these are tools used in the military decision making process. This scene depicts what war planners in an operations center are trying to understand through first the situational model maintained in the operations center and second, the common vocabulary provided by joint publications, other doctrinal publications, and other ontological products. These are the joint doctrinal publications. These provide the common language or controlled vocabulary shared by war planners at the tactical, operational, and strategic levels of war. Doctrinal publications such as these are written expressions of a domain ontology. They contain definitions for the organizations, processes, geospatial entities, events, and relations between them found in various military domains. Here we see military planners participating in an ontological process that involves a terrain model for an area of operations. The next few slides describe this process and the use of primitive symbols in the creation of a military ontology for an area of operations. Military symbols are elements of a military ontology. They represent the entities and events found in a military domain. They are used to develop the common operational picture and to develop situational awareness and situational understanding. They are used in operational design and to task organize forces. Military symbols are used to even to design and create information networks and overall they enhance the military decision-making process. These symbols depict types of military organizations and types of military equipment to include their functions and capabilities as well as friend, adversary, and neutral roles. These symbols designate targets on a map overlay. Buildings, structures, vehicles, formations, Geographic areas and people can all be in a target role for a period of time, meaning that a target role is a temporal property or temporal attribute of some entity. A target role is created by way of the targeting process. These are symbols for control measures such as boundaries, axes of advance, passage points, rally points, release points, and start points. Military symbols are used to create map overlays. Map overlays facilitate planning and decision making by representing the relations between units, boundaries, terrain features, and proposed courses of action. Military symbols are also used for task organizing. Task organizing is defined as the act of des designing an operating force, support staff, or logistic package of specific size and composition to meet a unique task or mission. Ontological methods are used in the process of task organizing. A task organization is the product of the, of the task organizing process. A task organization, such as the one shown here, would be part of a larger plan. Military symbols are also used in operational design. Operational design is defined as the conception and construction of the framework that underpins a campaign or major operation plan and its subsequent execution. Military ontologies help war planners visualize the relations between entities and events in an operation. This makes them critical tools for the operational design process. Furthermore, military ontologies are prerequisites for innovations such as close air support, combined fires, and joint operations. Military ontologies are also prerequisites for the creation of effective information systems. Military symbols are also used to create enemy situation templates. 
This enemy situation templates contains the following elements. Enemy infiltration routes. Suspected and known enemy positions. Enemy avenues of approach. Suspected enemy boundaries. The range of enemy artillery. Obstacles. And enemy observation posts. Here we see a terrain model used by U.S. Marines in the Marine Corps planning process. The terrain modeling process is a highly refined way of representing the warfighter's operational environment. Terrain models represent the entities and events that make up an area of operations. They are a product of an ontological process. Clausewitz stated that three quarters of the information upon which all actions in war are based on are lying in a fog of uncertainty to a greater or lesser extent. The first thing needed here is a fine piercing mind to feel the truth with the measure of its judgment. The practice of ontology, especially muriology, helps war planners to penetrate this fog of uncertainty. It does this by clearly defining and relating the entities and events in an area of operations. This results in the formulation of situational awareness in the common operational picture. General David Petraeus was able to formulate an accurate ontological and meteorological representation for the counterinsurgency domain. From that ontology, he was able to produce coherent doctrine used for the planning and conduct of counterinsurgency operations. He also produced sound counterinsurgency guidance for deployed units. The counterinsurgency doctrine and guidance resulted in unity of command and unity of effort for disparate organizations operating in Afghanistan and Iraq. In, con in conclusion, ontological methods should be thought of as primal planning activities. They are how we make sense of the world around us. They've been used by commanders and war planners since the dawn of organized warfare. They are used in order to make sense of the operational environment and to create situational awareness, situational understanding, and a common operational picture. They are a prerequisite for sound decision making and planning. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it helped you understand how ontological methods are used in planning for military operations. Please send any questions or comments to Lieutenant Colonel Bill Mandrick at the listed email address.